avoid, and unfortunately for some children, they get, it becomes a habit of going at. And in the beginning, I just let them. It's just that I keep trying to push them as soon as I can to going pat, as opposed to at, but never pa at, that's all. I just try to work on that. Um, the hardest ones are the blended mm -hmm. consonants. Those are just wicked difficult, and it just takes time before that switches on. They very often will transpose them and go, they'll see steps and they'll go spet. You know, it's just, um, there's almost no child that doesn't have that problem in the beginning, and that's just simply practice, okay? But they love to do it. Um, something about the colors makes it very enjoyable. Um, when we do dictations in the beginning, we do them by me going, um, we sound out this word, pep, and then we sound out that one, up, and then this one, pup, and then they'll tell me I'll go, and they go, pep, up, pup. They can come up and they can make sentences with it. Where it's evolved to now is that I just dictate and they just write, the oldest children, the sec two oldest groups. I don't need to use the word charts. Let me just see if there's anything else about that that I want to say. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I wanted to just show you. Oh, I'm doing good. Two of the things I'm working on with the older groups. Um, the younger groups are working through word charts and working through workbooks and just getting it so that they've got it down. Because I'm not worried that they're not getting a lot of vocabulary. They're getting a lot of vocabulary in their lives anyway from the other things that they read. Um, what I want to make sure is that they know how to, how to take language apart, how to decode it. Um, it works beautifully for grammar lessons. That's what I'm doing with the oldest ones now. Today we were doing suffixes. And the fact that you, if you put um, a past tense ending with stuff, it's stuffed, but they will always think that it's got a T. Mm -hmm. It's S-T-U-F-F-T. -F -F -T. But I have to show them it's ED, but look, that's the color of T, so they know it's stuffed. So today we were playing with that. This is dusted, <laughs> dusted, whereas, um, hang on, I gotta find one that does this. That's mended, oh, puffed. Find me one. What are you looking at? Yeah. Where it's just a D on the end. Rented, there's that one, kicked. Spilled, there's a good one, spilled. It just sounds like a D. They all have ED. So the game that we play, and you've got to realize, the more games they play, the more fun it is for them, the more they're interested, the more they remember. I don't play the game because I want them to rem remember the colors. I could care less, that's gonna go. It's because I want them to get sight. So especially, I find with the boys, the more these games I play, they're into it. You know, so it's not just about suffixes. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying to them, okay, dusted, which one is it? And they're like, mm, it's this one. Right. Okay, stuffed, which one is it? Uh, this one? No, this one. Okay, so it, I, with words and color, we use it a lot for grammar. Um, and then with the oldest children right now, the one that I thought was really interesting, you know, because spellings just start to get weirder and weirder, you know, and that's the whole idea, um, is to find the ways to memorize those without it being stressful. But my goodness, you know, could is OU, soup is OU, house is OU, courage is OU, they're all pronounced differently. So the colors help them to remember that. But the ow sound can be H-O-U, it can be O-W, you know, it can be just O-U. So, um, Sometimes OW can be OW or O. So these are the things that we'll sit and we'll work with and we'll go into it and we'll go over it. And then once we've done it enough, I'll do a dictation with them and they've got to remember the spellings. And if they don't, we go back over it. The one thing that I really, really recommend is don't correct your child's spelling. Help them correct it themselves. They do their own corrections. You don't correct it for them. And as much as possible, don't spell it for them if you can. Make them spell it for themselves. So even if they're getting wrong, now certain ones are impossible, could. Just forget it, fine, spell that. <laughs> they gotta memorize that. 
but there's a lot that they can and I find that 90% of the time, especially once they're seven and eight years old, they can spell it, they're just afraid of getting it wrong, so it's much better if they do it. And Nicholas did it the other day, he spelt red by himself, and all, I just, I made him do it, and then I, he just said, is this right, R-E-D, yes, R-E-D, spelled red, you know, so. <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's anything else. Last thing, and then whatever questions you might have. Um, I don't know if people are still in five minutes. Um, a game that I do a lot with them that you do not need to do at home, but just so you have the reference for it in case they come home playing it. And Sam and Susie have been doing this game all year, which is the game of transformations. The little ones are too little for it. Um, and the older ones, I've really got the hang of it now, but I'm really working on it with the six, seven-year-olds because it's mathematical concepts. And um, where did I tell you this thing? Remember I was talking on the phone and I said it's an algebra? Algebra, you said it was an algebra, algebra. function. Yeah, and there's somebody who made a whole, and it was about it in this other book, and I don't have the book here. But anyway, hmm, there's some, that's what it was, I got it. The reason that algebra is so important for children to learn is because what it teaches you is that it doesn't matter what you get to the answer, there's more than one way to get to the answer. What matters is how did you get there? And in life, that kind of thinking is more important than getting the right answer. So this is an algebraic method. So let's say I give you a word at the beginning, which is is, and I give you a word at the end, which is tap. And you've got to get from here to there, transforming the word in steps, and each word has to be a sensible, you know, an actual word in English. And you can only do a certain kind of step. You can add a letter, you can insert a letter, you can reverse letters or substitute letters, but you may not just take any away, and they all have to make sense. So let's say you're trying to get from is to tap. What is something that you could do to change You could, yeah, okay, we'll do that, that's fine. I'll take that. So what did you do, Mitt? You did. Oh, and insert. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. You gotta make a word. Oh, yeah. add, a oh, okay. add a P. Yeah. So now I add it. And then what do I have to do? Or we do it with the with the letters, and one child's in charge, and they move the children to so get to Susie it. Susie told me she did, they did one that was 43 steps. No. I gave, the workbooks went home. I wasn't watching. <laughs> the workbooks went home. You have a good You're not here. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> we did one that had a lot of steps. And what's so funny is I get stumped by them, and they help me figure it out. They help me figure it out. Yeah, I'm finding it. This game. All of them. Yeah. Keep it simple. <laughs> Not remembering how to actually pronounce the vowel yeah. correctly. And you know, you were saying you know, some of your yeah. spelling. So do I. I'm like, this is why I couldn't actually pronounce I still yeah, can't do that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like as an adult, uh, how embarrassing. Uh, I'm like, I pot, pot, pot. Remember pot. Yeah, pot. 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 What is it? Pot. 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 Would have to when be I say the words, because yeah. I forget which sound it goes with them, the so I just say those words and then I, I get an idea in my brain before I say it out to the child. <laughs> to make sure I have it right. Oh, yeah. eh, eh, pot, it's pot. cool. It's so what it, this is what I want, and it lot. is fun. It was a good game. So this is what I wanted to present. I wanted to just take a couple minutes and see if you have any questions, because sometimes if you ask a question, it helps other people. So. Um, I have a question. This yeah. chart here. Oh, totally yeah, that is the deal. So how do you, I, mean, I, I shall explain it. This is called a Fidel chart, and it's an Ethiopian word. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> um, because when Caleb Gitanyu made this, it was because there was no written language for uh, Ethiopia, so he designed it. That's my understanding. So he borrowed a word from their language to explain this chart. It's that if you were, and I can show you a chart that shows you this. In fact, it's in here. 
Um, it's not easy, okay? And that's why I'm a teacher, because I like figuring this kind of stuff out. If I wasn't a teacher, I wouldn't bother, okay? Um, but if you, and it's tiny small here, but if you were to see how many times, um, this is called vertical equivalence. Anything that's got this color sounds like this. So ah, like the word laugh. Okay, I don't know what it is with this or this. I just don't know right now. Okay, but like sun, like sun in the sky, sun, like sun and daughter. Okay, it will have a, like a cup of tea. Do you understand? A, uh, like tuck. Okay, a, uh, like, I don't know how that works. I mean, I, you, I'd have, but on here they give you all the kinds of words that it could be. So, happy as opposed to, we don't say happy, we say happy. So it's a bit more of an if sound. Do you understand? A little bit better? So they don't worry, the children don't worry about this. All they know is what happens to them and if they do it naturally. And you always have to remember, they are children, we are adults. We already know how to read, we don't need to do this. They don't know how to read, they do need to do it, and they do it naturally. So I'll say to them, they'll read puppet. And I'll say, how did you know it was puppet and not puppet? Because it would have a bluey if it was puppet. And they go, because it's pink, and that's the if. Mm. They just know. Okay? They yeah. just know. They get it very fast. Not all children. 90% of the children get it. Well, I have, okay. a, I have a question about that, because my daughter, although she's outgrown a lot of it, has she was diagnosed, and she has sensory issues. Mm. This is all very sensory. So... Does that make it more difficult for her to, like I was thinking about some of those exercises you had us doing, um, you know, she can like move her balance, that mm -hmm. eye thing. Like I, I wonder how that'll. Well, we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> we'll find that out. That's one question. Yeah. Um, what do you do if a child, like my daughter's a perfectionist, so if a child starts to get really frustrated because they're not catching it, what do you do? You help them. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. A lot of one-on-one. And then my final question is, I read this book, Teacher, by Sylvia yeah, Warner. Wonderful, yeah. So do you think even that, like, she says you can I know. say to your child, like, just tell me if you want a word. Yeah, and we did that. We tried that for a work? year. No. no. And the children okay. said to me, this is hysterical, it's called Organic Reading and Writing, yeah. and I've tried it for a year. It's it's a wonderful book, Teacher, by Sylvia Warner. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Yeah. And I thought, this is a great idea. I'm going to try this. And it's basically a whole language approach. They memorize the words did not work. And not only that, we got to like May, and I had the first, it was the first group of four children. It was Claire, Maeve, May, and Wesley, who were all really bright. And we were doing a week of it, and they said, can we go back to work in class? <laughs> and I said, really, why? And they said, this one's like, I don't, I don't like this, we'll just get it. So I said, fine, junk it. Okay, you know, it didn't say. work. Okay. So it did, for them, it did. Aboriginal children in Australia. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem to be working. It didn't work. My daughter, she's not into it, but I was just wondering. Yeah, I tried it. Okay, so what you had a question or something else? No, it's in uh, the later of the word chart, so like 12 and 14, where where you've got uh, letters that are divided through two, mm -hmm. colors. two colors. Yeah, it's because it's two sounds. Um, like courageous. Ow is two sounds. Ow. Okay. Um, j. It's not one sound. It's zij, z. It's got more than one sound. So that's when they do them in half. And truthfully, I mean, that's really coming from a linguistic standpoint, like I is two sounds. The truth is just that they get it subconsciously, that that's not it, because they see, oh, it's the pink and white one, that's I. Um, and then I don't know how else to explain it other than I've just seen it and seen it and see it. They, they see it on here, they do it enough times, then when they see the word in a book, it doesn't bother them, they've memorized it, if they are a child who memorizes things. If they are a child who always sounds things out, um, they will take m need more work to get to the point where they're confident about it. But um, I'm trying to remember what the word was. Well, it's like friend. I mean, just for whatever reason, a child learns how to spell it. They're into that word and they just learn how to spell it even though it's like, <laughs> 
little friend? No, I have to think about it. Is it I before E? You don't know. Here, just so you before you go. What else? What else do you want to ask? Nothing? You all right? It was a lot. That was like a that was like a, a download on. <laughs> <laughs> you please realize that your children don't do that much in one day, ever. Um, but uh, it would give you a headache. But I, I think um, you even get one exercise from this, and it works for you. Do it at home, and if you do nothing else with them at home, double doodle. And yeah, that's that's scribble really scrabble. Cool. That's yeah. you, you can do it in finger paint. You know, do things. With doing it at school or, you know, they'll do it another way. just tell my daughter, just wait. Here. <laughs> She's not going to buy that. Way. She doesn't sound like that, that kind of person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So thank you. you do. Thank you. I'd like to say one thing. Yeah. 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 And that is the 15, yeah. Because that'll help her with the balance and all that. No, Elizabeth said okay. some of those things are <laughs> difficult. Wait, but but hold on. Elizabeth, right? Connie, hold on one sec. I was just going to say, for those of you don't have kids here. Um, the, our kids love to go to school. They love it. They love to. I mean, and uh, it's not like I have uh, other kids who've been to the school. This is completely different. Barbara is a wonderful teacher. This is great. Well, I'll tell you something. Barbara. Since my Thank daughter you. saw this school so in October, she insisted this is where she's going. And she got involved with this program in Riverdale Fields for me for two seasons. And we were going to, like, now I'm going to the Garden Road School. <laughs> I mean, she made her mind. And those of you have to drive all the way up here. Friend. She just made it. She, there was no other plan. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> one day we'll have more of them so that they're spread yeah. across the yeah. family. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't you just move up here? Yeah, that's, yeah. What, so that's what Holly did. did. <laughs> well, did you know, you? our kids did came to school one come? day. We were just in Bronx Bowling. We were looking all over West Chester. Oh, there's going to be school for Bowling Bowling. Wow, really? Absolutely. And our, our kids were at another school and they weren't happy and we said, well, let's just go to school. Absolutely not. That's a school for us. <laughs> That's where we're going. <laughs> oh my gosh, how was that? But they are, you know, this the superintendent approach came in inspected the school by the way this week, and it was, you know, I mean, we were slightly hysterical about I it. <laughs> but I will tell you, I mean, she was impressed. You know, it's for you know, it works. And a lot of what I explained to her is that most of the children in the school are children with sensory issues or. They're very perfectionistic or whatever they have. They can't handle. When Jake did the interviews with the children this week and asked them uh, what it was that they, if they'd been to another school, what was it they liked about this better, they all said that this was quieter, calmer, which cracked me up. Yeah, <laughs> me too. That it's quieter and calmer <laughs> and more peaceful. <laughs> they're like, the post was too loud. Yeah. Well, they it's because it. nobody's paying attention to a public school. Someone is constantly going, shh, you know, <laughs> put voice down. <laughs> so it is right in the room. <gasps> no, but it's true. <laughs> it's so hard for them, but it is true. I, I mean, I have heard um, also that, um, I mean, we make them sit down to eat, and it's not because we want to be in charge and be forceful. It's because you've got to learn how to sit still when you eat. Otherwise, you can't go out to restaurants and you can't be with adults. And so there are a lot of little things, but I agree with you. It make it nice, but I was surprised that they said it was calm here. <laughs> I'm always so embarrassed when you guys come to pick up your kids. I'm like, sorry. It was organized earlier. <laughs> anyway, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Would you play and then awesome. let yeah. me know if you have other things. And, uh, Thank you. Okay. That was Please make those steps. Do you want to play a game? Well, if I can be <laughs> on there, I'll pick up extra. Yes, yeah, extra. Yeah. 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 And I'll uh, have uh, to grab it. I'm going to do one more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try to see? Oh, if, uh, yeah. I can find out. I mean, I can remember. I can well, figure it out. Well, maybe. Can I just look at music? Do you have? No, just look up here. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. horrible title, she's right, but it, it grew out of trying to adapt the, 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 the,